Hello, I'm Andrew Blissin, and welcome back to This Is A Police. Um, there's a crime war going on. Oh goody. Oh goody, goody, goody. Let's go to work. I'm so looking forward to this. My friend just crashed at some, into someone's car at an intersection. She's in terrible panic. Can I go help her out? I did order you into work today. You're on the wrong shift, so yes. Okay, a badge I can assign. Uh, I don't want to sign it to the other shift or this shift. I'm going to sign it to Simonelli. That way I've got two people who can lead. Let's start the day. Uh, I haven't had a chance to see if last episode got cut and ID'd, so for now I'm going to pass on the music. Let's go to the map. Okay. Let's go to the bar. So we've got the investigation. We've got two choices where to go. Let's go to the bar first of all. Let's send Simonetti and Meal. Deputy. Nanami Koshi was able to pass all the exams. They've earned a boost. Ooh. Yay. Paid. I paid my snitch the weekly fee. 500. Considering certain events, we're obliged to grant some concessions to feminists. You have to make sure at least half of the staff at the police station are women. I've got three days. Okay, quick. Okay. Women. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I can hire someone else. You're a really good police officer as well. Uh, do I want you on shift A? Or B? I'm going to get you on shift B, just because it means I can have you... Um, Basically, work immediately. What else? Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, eight plus eight, so I need eight women, basically. Uh, so I've got one, not counting the one I just hired, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, Five, assuming they all define as women. Um, so I need to fire three men. Not great. Any good detectives? 130th, not great. Uh, I could fire... Too old. Sorry, Alice. Enjoy. Sandy isn't here because it's a class. Can't fire him. Vasiliev, you're a good cop, but you're too old. People love what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, and that's higher for A shift and higher for A shift. Okay. And I need another woman. But there aren't any to hire. Okay, cool. Annoying, but cool. Alternatively, I could kill them. That seems a bit much. Suicide threat at the bridge. Tax driver heard someone screaming and noticed a few people gathering the bridge as he drove past the port. He stopped to see someone... Um, he approached, he saw the man was threatening to throw himself and two children as the water below. Jason left us. I lost my job in the house and there's no way we'll survive. It's better if everything just ends now. To the taxi driver, it looks like suicide. Okay. Uh, we'll send... I know, two of you about to be fired, but... Eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, we've got no one to do anything else with at the moment. Like a breaking and entering call. Offender caught. Yes. Sweet. Uh, an elderly man speaking in a raspy whisper just reported a break-in. There's someone in my house. They're pounding on the door and marching all around downstairs. Hurry. <sighs> Got a feeling this could be a, a fake call. And it requires four people in SWAT. I don't want to send SWAT out so early for something that doesn't seem terribly important. I'll only have two people if I go to this without SWAT, though. Oh, how there's a disorderly conduct.
When he entered, he put a bag of white powder from his safe and shut the door. Now he's yelling incessantly and making a scene, demanding his secretary deliver him the head of a unicorn or a cut a throat of a letter opener, then go after the rest of her family. Um, I want to see if this is back in time to go to the other one. Two tearful boys, clearly in a step of shock, are standing disastrously, dangerously close to the edge of the bridge. Beside them, their drunk and distraught father is slowly pushing the children closer to the precipice. Don't be upset, my friend. Tell me about your husband. Don't worry there. Everything's going to be fine. Don't be upset, my friend. Tell me about your wife. It was Jason. Tell me about your husband. Strong gust of wind blows one of the children off the bridge, but he recovered last moment, stumbling on the ground with Scuffney. Rush the other children, right? I can't do that if he's still holding them. The picture doesn't look like it, but they haven't said they're not being held. And it's only one of the children. Rushing to the aid is... No, 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 no. Um... So as we were saying, there's no point in delaying the uh, inevitable. Think about what we're doing. There's people who care about you. That's obviously like a bad idea because without leading them down the path of who cares about him, you're saying, think about what you're doing. There's people who care about you. And they'll just go, actually, no, my husband just left. There's no one who cares about me. Jump. Because you're just going to get them to go straight into that. So point a gun at the man on step away from the edge. Your children the whole life in front of them. You can't make a decision for them. Oh, God. Yes! Score! Yeah, you'll be back in time for that. So let's send Samedi and Meal. Oh. I'm glad we did. Um, it's a bit weird that we've got a timer and it doesn't matter. Like, you can send people, like, 30 minutes later and it's the same as if before. Because right now, someone could be dead. From a letter opener. One, two, three. Proceed. I do need to help out the sands, though. So, we'll see what we can do. Except the dog's in the house. They're scratching at the door because they want to go outside. Yeah, there we go. I thought it was a false alarm. Um, yeah, sure. What do you need? I remember the family was out at a restaurant having dinner with a secret lover, but because he felt secret, he was light on protection, and one of the Vargas agents was a super grenade into the room. This is a job just handled by the police, unofficially, of course. What? A restaurant having dinner with a secret lover because... Oh. Oh, so someone... Yeah, someone just slipped a grenade into the room rather than just, like, chucking it into the room and closing the door because I was like, I'm probably going to be a bit late if they just chuck the grenade in through the door. Uh, I will send people in a second when I have them. It's going better now. Uh, we got cocaine? I'm going to ask the Mafia to sell it because Everts is on this call. So Everts can cover me, yeah? Right. Everts, I need you. You're my snitch. Ellis. Oh, Ellis is getting fired, so Ellis might have nothing to really lose at the moment. Hmm. Hostage situation with a fatal casualty. Over it, it just said hostage situation with a fat. And I was like, what? With a fat? A man wearing a suit walked into a lobby of a bank, locked the doors, and proceeded to kill several customers. He never said a word. He just started firing at people, reported one eyewitness. A dozen people remained inside the building, and the criminal's demands are not yet known. Uh, ooh, hard choice. I want to send five people. But I don't. I won't have time to get these people back. So straight away, let's send three and SWAT. This is why we keep SWAT around. Hopefully, we'll have them back in time. But I don't think we will if they want the reinforcements. Yeah, I don't have reinforcements. Send you. I should have waited long enough to have the reinforcements. Uh, I'm going to refuse. Oh, nicely done. 
Uh, the sands need help. If we do this, the sands should be winning. A sweet girl named Anna is one of our key assets in a large accounting firm. She just got home from work and found her house on fire. That's what started standing around admiring the handiwork. Wouldn't it be pretty if someone cracked open their skulls and tossed them onto the... Wow. It's, you know, it's harsh, but... Sure, doing gang work all day. Thirsty work. You probably need to get a beer afterwards. No, don't. I don't want more drunk dead cops. Vargas, I'm ignoring that. I need the sounds to be in the lead. At least until like day, what, like day end minus one or two. And then I can push them into the win. Or I could just let Sans win. That's not the worst case scenario. Then they'll never know because all along I was helping them out and being like duplicitous. I'm so good at duplicity. Oh, my voice is starting to go. I've got like only half of the episode, but I need to keep my voice going. Oh, damn it. Oh. Oh. Okay, Sans are in the lead. Cool. They won't kill me. Yet. He's like organized crime versus like Joker, like Heath Ledger Joker. Uh, sure. Well done. Okay, tomorrow's shift is looking good. Bisman expressed desire to leave city. 86% of residents oppose demolition of coal monument. Move production studio may appear in Freeburg. Okay. I'm guessing I'll have to send people to, like, train actors and stuff to look like cops. I've got tickets to go watch the filming of a TV show. No. If you leave, I'll hire a woman in your place. Well done, you passed your exams. Oh, that's a good amount of cocaine. I'm taking everything. Um, right. Police station. Do we have more female officers to hire? There is a female detective. I will take that. Can I fire any of you? Beasley, do I have a reason to fire you? No. 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 How long do I have left to do this? It'll be under... Backlog. You have three days, and that was... Yesterday. I've got time. Alternatively, I can just send them to, like, a thing where they'll get killed. And, like, ask the Sands to set up an investigation trap. That seems a bit harsh. I, I don't think I'm that kind of cop. You know, playing it, playing it, gaming it, right? If we're playing this, like, you know, just, just for the max wins. Yeah, like, sending one of my officers to the death, fine. But I don't think I'm that sort of cop. I don't think I'd willingly just kill one of my people so that I could meet some city hall quota. Uh, we'll, we'll pass on that. Hopefully we'll just find a way to fire someone. We can always fire someone illegally at the last minute. It's what City Hall wants. I'm not helping out the Sands. You know, I'm not helping out anyone until the last couple of days of the war, and then I'll just help Varga. I don't think I need to, right? There's no one on there for Civil War. Fight at the elementary school. Two senior students began fighting right in the middle of the chemistry class. A teacher first tried to calm it down, but she was attempting to separate. She was poked in the eye. Surely you just get some of the other teachers in. But, okay, fine, we'll do your job. Uh, that was a bit harsh. That's a little bit harsh. Sansu. And Vandal. I know, you're not the best. This is a bit of a minor thing. And also, 
If you do sucky, I can fire you. To be fair, I can fire you already because you're old. Ooh, hello. Museum of Feelings and Fine Art. At night, a little-known painting by the Dutch master Die Vroom, recently shown for the first time, disappeared at the museum. One of the museum's windows is broken as a brick lying on the floor inside. I bet it's like an insurance scam. It's the first time it's been shown. Uh, Mole, followed by Armstrong. I might have to get rid of Armstrong. Mole, however, is a female detective, so sure. Whoa. The Sands main attorney's children were captured. I'm sending cops. I'm sorry. If it wasn't if it wasn't cop if it wasn't kids, I wouldn't bother. Okay, drug sales. A nurse tried to sell her drugs right in the hospital. I went to the doctor after I broke my arm. The nurse told me complaining about pain and wanted to wait until the doctor left. Then she said she get me pills that would be better than Vitagen, according to her. Okay, so yeah, right. We'll send our three officers. And we're out of officers right now. Fight. Well done. And... We start an investigation to theft. Five. Ooh. I have to start paying more attention to the uh, Vargas need help. Don't care. Actually, I probably should help one of them, because I'm going to get the two lead on the sands if I do this right. One of our guys broke into an apartment that Sans own. The owner returned home, sensing something was wrong, and pulled a gun. Yeah, I'll send Vandal. Good. Cocaine? Oh. We should bring some to the police station. I know we're losing out on profit that way, but we've got to bring some back to the police station. Otherwise, people are going to be like, why does nothing end up in, like, confiscation, right? Com what's it called? It's not confiscation. It's, um... It's, like, not lost and found. That just keeps coming to mind. I'm like, it's not lost and found. It's something else. Grab the half-sister of one of the family members right off the street. Uh, no, I can't help the Sands too much. But the Vargas are really targeting a lot of peripheral people to the Sands. I mean... I know it's effective in an area that the Sands already control, is to target the people who are basically already based there, in, you know, easy to reach, but it's still, it's a little bit ugly. Robbery. A girl exiting an expensive car was approached by a man wearing a hood who threatened her and took her bag. Uh, Koshi. It was a, it was a girl, so, um, take, take the female element. Maybe she'll open up more to you. Also, Nomada's really tired, so... You'll balance her nicely. I really don't like how the Vargas do business, but I can't get involved too much. File a police report. Assault with an offensive weapon. An older prisoner, tired of eating the food served by the prison cafeteria, made his way to the kitchen carrying a shiv. He turned on having wood with the chef. A guard called the police as he's reluctant to enter the kitchen for fear of third provoking the prisoner. Isn't this exactly, exactly what prison guards there are for? One person with a shiv. Like, is that really police? Like, if I get called out, don't you lose, like, bonuses or something or get fined? Mm. Yancey, Sansu, and Vandal. You've got a leader, you've got a good cop, and you've got a cop who is not bad. Like, 150 is mediocre, so. We're doing very well at the moment. I mean, now I've said that, we're cursed. Someone is going to die. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Floors decorated with broken plates and upturned pan filled with muddy slush. Broken plates? They really like have like ceramic crockery in prisons? Surely you could turn that into a weapon. An early prisoner sitting on the stool, dipping his hands into the pot of slush and shoveling it towards the cook's face, yelling, You try to eat this shit. Let's cook something else up. Only take a minute. No. Hey, we've got a nice couple of nice warm burgers here. Let's try that. I'm doing with burgers works. Success. I'm waiting for whatever, you know, today is going to throw us to kick off.
You rushed the poor new recruit, set him on, sorry, uh, Sand rushed the new recruit, set him on fire, and are standing there watching him die in agony. Um, well, by the time I get there, it'll be too late anyway. And again, just call the police. You know, are you are calling me, but you're not calling the police as in me. Just call 999, right? Report it as a crime, and I'll deal with it. Three new frames. It's not enough, so we're going to wait for the moment. Nothing? Hmm. I like. End the day. Four, three. Just got to keep the sounds in the lead, basically, forever, uh, until the very last minute, and then flip the table. Well, I mean, people are tired, but I was... You know, other than that, it went okay. Citizens' earnings have fallen. Former city employees emit official employment data far from reality. Unemployment in Freeburg is lowest in history. Uh, yeah. Well, that's where we're going to end today. Uh, if you've enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. We were doing pretty poorly in the first few episodes, but it sort of eased off. I guess that all the, like, gangs have just stopped doing crime and are focusing on killing each other, which... Technically, they're not calling the police about. And apparently, no witnesses are either. So that's good. I've been Eurydicium. Until next time, stay shiny.